Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the following contest is set for one ball, and it is for the T1GP Heavyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jacob Dash with your commentary and folks, very night of action. We are going to have live here tonight in London, England at Wembley Stadium for the T1GP Heavyweight Championship. And now, here comes Ty Ring down to the ring. But I am not alone. I am here with my broadcast partner. Just go ahead and say hello to the people. It's me, it's me, it's Sue. What about by me, Saffron Sunshine? And and let's just say it's gonna be a hell of a fight. It's Tyrene versus Ken Sheen. As we know, these two men, it, it, it's kind of been a, a bit of respect between these two men as we know uh, for, for, for some time. And now Tyrene getting a shot of a lifetime at the T1 GP Heavyweight Championship. Uh, Ken Sheen has said that he, he respects Tyrene and an amount of his desire. They both have the same amount of his desire. They both have the same amount of injuries. It's almost took them out. But do you think that that desire will push Tyrone to winning that T1GP championship? Well, if I was a dang man, I'd have to put my money on Ty. I feel like he's educated, he's very calculated. He knows how to get it done in the ring. It's almost like he's the professor. Let's just call Tyrone the professor here on him against Dark Shy Shogun and Tension for the T1B championship of them all. I mean, it's been a good while since he's been in a title picture. And as you said, it's all it's, like Kenshin respects Tyrene, and Tyrene respects Kenshin. But do you think all well, that's gonna matter once the bell rings? No, I do not. Once that bell rings, we have seen the attitude that Tyrene has had when he is determined to win by any means necessary, but we've also seen the attitude, the menace that Kenshin has had when it means to win. And, and now it is all came down to this for the T1GP Heavyweight Championship of the World. I think these two men are gonna go for a ball. But as now we await the world champion coming down to the ring. that belt for quite some time now. He has defeated men all around the world. He's going into this matchup with four defenses, aiming for his fifth if he can defeat Tyrene. What does Kenshin has to do here tonight to beat Tyrene? We have seen the training that Tyrene has been through. What does Kenshin have to do? Okay, so think of this like this match as chess, right? Kenshin has to outplay Tyrene here because Tyrene may be the master but Kenshin may find ways to pull something under the rug from Tyrene here. We've seen this man pull off against major major opponents and I feel like Tyrene being one of those major opponents if he's not careful say goodbye to that T1P championship it's coming home to Tyrene. Getting up the battle. Both of these men, Tyrone and Kenshin, will battle for the T1 GP Heavy Championship of the World. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just see the tail of the tape right here. Kenshin a little bit more heavier than Tyrone. Introducing first the really challenger. Insane. Hey, Lee from Queens, New York. He is the Dynamite Kid, Ty Hoograin! And it's 
introducing his opponent. Hailing from Shibuya, Japan, and representing Kenshin Goon, the reigning, defending T1GP heavyweight champion, the Dark Side Shogun, Kenshin! Well, Sumi, all the cards are on the table for this World Heavyweight Championship bout. As both men take a look at that beautiful piece of gold, almost more than 10 pounds, that T1 GP Heavyweight Championship. Whoa. Both men going right at each other. Wait a second. Oh, God. And, and, I mean, my God. I mean, that's one way to kick off this this contest here right soon. Mm-hmm. Kenshin trying to go for that Tai Chi's hilt. Misses. Tyrant trying to go for that T2K, that dynamite kill kick out of nowhere. And here we are. Kano with tie up against the ropes. Referee's going to have to check up on that. Break that up a little bit right there as he does. And a clean break right here, surprisingly, at the start of this contest. I mean, Tyrain has been a changed man over the years. I mean, as you said, has had injuries the same as Kenshin that could have possibly ended his whole wrestling career for good. But while the time he was away, he finally started to see clear that a lot of things have gotten in his way and I feel like now he has a better mindset his mind is clear he's ready he's focused he's ready to go and as you can see Kenshin right now wait no got the leg scissors now up against no the head scissors I'm sorry up against the throat of and Kenshin Tyrain, I mean working out on Kenshin here and I think that's gonna be the ordeal that Tyrain's gonna have to avoid just the same way as he avoided that tai Taichi's hit is the same way he's gonna have to avoid this this whole entire contest to get Kenshin down for the three to win the T1 GP Heavyweight Championship. As you see, Tyrain yeah. taking it back to the bases here as he's taking him down. Got the body scissors on him right now. Yeah, it, it seems to me that Tyrain's trying to smother Kenshin down to the ground, and as I said, that Kenshin brings him back down with a headlock here. And I mean, this is perfect game plan from Tyrain to get Kenshin to wrestle his game, wouldn't it be so? Yeah, I, was, I have to say, it, right now it's a battle for control here, as it seems like. Both these men, ever since, after trying to attempt hitting their finishing strikes, I haven't seen much of a big move happen here so far just yet. But let's see what happens here. Kenshin throwing Tyrain off the ropes now, going under. Oh! Man, that was a lethal, it almost almost was hilarious, clothesline right there as he wrapped his arm around the head of the neck of Tyreen. Man, that soccer ball kick. And did you see where the point of the boot, the toe of the boot, went to the middle of the spine, the back of Tyreen? I mean, man, it ain't ballet. I mean, these strikes that Kenshin does, they are brutal. If you're not careful, these strikes could take you out. Surely can. Oh, man, the point of the knee down to the back. It seems to me that Kenshin is really working on the back of Tyrain here, and he only gets a one off that count. There's some progress being made here. I mean, it's working. It's working a little bit. Kenshin now winning with the strike exchange right here to Tyrain. <laughs> play with the leg hook now one two no only a two there as you almost saw Tyrain he almost got folded up like an accordion off the back suplex but he still ended up wiping himself to get up for the two counts now oh lead clubbing Larry is right here and hits him with another one Knocking him down. I don't think Tyrain has gotten any offense ever since. Oh, wait. Oh, I, wait. I spoke too soon there off the road. Goes Kenshin now. Float over. No. Ooh. Trans 
transition neck that break. into a neck breaker. Beautiful from Tyrena. Now, oh, hits him with the Ushigaroshi. Head and neck folding over the knee of Tyrene here. No. You didn't teach me that. Man. Seems like. Just. Is it just me, Jacob? Or. Is Tyrene targeting the neck of Kenshin right now? Yeah, it seems as if he is targeting that neck of Kenshin. Every move that really Tyrene has does, he is, he is isolated over that neck and head of Kenshin. I mean, Ugh. I called him the professor. You might as well call him many things. Professor, doctor, scientist, anything. This man will experiment to make sure that he gets the results that he wants, and that's the victory. And right now, he's working, still working on the uh. net, trying to cut out the circulation of Kenshin right now with this shin lock. The fans here, they're rooting for the champ right now. Yes, they are. Now, wait a minute, Kenshin breaking out of this hold here. Oh, the man, elbow to the back of the head of Tyrene, but Tyrene ducks the right hand, hits him with one of his own. I right now bring him right down and look at this dragon sleeper. Oh, beautiful right there. Look at how he has the almost the leverage with the knee and, 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 the, and the right foot. Making of knees. And oh man, that, that was a vicious one to that eye of Tyrene there. It looked as if. And now, oh! Precision! Shoulders on the mat now, two! No! One more second, and we would have won. Team 1 GP champion. Yeah, we would have a new one, and that was a precision with that drop kick. Right to the side of the head of, of Kenshin there. It's now, wait a minute, no. Oh, that shot off the ropes now. Oh! And another one. Oh! To the outside. Good guy. Both of these men, ever since this contest has started, hard strikes all around from both of these men. They have been giving each other their all in everything they have done in this contest. But Sumi, it's looking like Kenshin, he's setting up for a specialty here. If he's looking for that DDT on the outside. You call that a crimson DDT around these parts? Hold that! Oh my god! Jesus! Spine to the pine with that spine buster on the outside. Oh, and, and, oh man, that had to rack the back uh, of Kenshin there. Oh yeah, without a doubt. I mean, Tyrene was just working on the neck. And I feel like he has another body part to mess with. And that's that back. I mean, how is he going to lift him up for that set out blue thunder bomb? That full moon bomb, excuse me. I, I don't know how he's going to set that up now. I mean, as you said that. Oh, oh God almighty. We call that a midnight dagger around here. Man, a midnight dagger. It surely was. Kenshin definitely didn't see that coming. As he almost got right a dagger right in his eye. And now, Tyrene here. The knee at the point of the back. Pulling him back by that neck. And... Still not enough to take out Kenshin. And, and that was what I was going to say there. I mean, how is Kenshin going to pick him up? I mean, he's basically isolated Kenshin's moveset here with that full moon bomb. And oh, wait! Wait a minute. Oh! Tastes the old medicine with a spine buster of his own. Beautifully done in the middle of the ring here. And a hook on a leg. It's still not enough. Kenshin arguing with the ref there. Wanted a three count, but he can only get a two. I mean, Tyler Rain is not going to sit there yeah. and try to give Kenshin an easy victory. He's going to make him fight for it. We've yeah. seen him fought in the past against Baruni Muno, a Kenshin Goon member of his own. And now, Tyler Rain right now, he wanted this and he's getting it right here. Oh! God, this is kick to the gut right there. And like you said, Tyrone wanted it. He is getting it. Man, I need right to the side of the head. He is getting everything of Kenshin. Rooney Mudo may have let him up on him, but Kenshin is not letting up on him at all. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. You've seen Kenshin a whole lot of more times here compared to me. 
But as far as I'm seeing right now, Kenshin, he may be more calculated than Tyrain is. Yeah, I, I mean, I've seen people underestimate Kenshin by his age and, and, and by how his experience is. But Kenshin is a very well-experienced man. He would not be the world heavyweight champion if he wasn't. Did you say he's a veteran here? Oh, veteran here against Tyrain? Hey. I, 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 I don't, I, I mean, in, in, I, in this contest, I don't necessarily know. Kenshin and Tyrain, to me, they're almost exactly alike as, as calculated. But it's seeming to me that Kenshin here is almost taking control of Tyrain and isolating that calculation that Tyrain has of Kenshin. Almost doing the same thing that Tyrain was doing, but in Kenshin style. Oh, that overhand shot to the chest. God mighty. Now, Kenshin in the driver's seat has the wheel here as now. Has the knee and the point of the back. And soon this will not do good for Kenshin right here to be locked into this hole for very long. But now Seems like going to switch things up here and look at this. A camel clutch. Switched it up right to the camel clutch. Does, does it seem to you that Kenshin is almost now working on the back of Tyrain now? I mean, yeah. How is Tyrain going to look him up for many maneuvers in his moveset? I mean, he got the chapter black. He has that spine buster that he usually does. He has that gate breaker. Many maneuvers that requires to bring him up onto the shoulders, leg drop from Tyrain now. That was quickly done. Did you see how fast Tyrain got back up onto his feet so he could hit that leg drop? I mean, he saw Kenshin was trying to attempt to get up. Tyrain was making sure that he stayed down for a good while now, keeping him right where he wants him. Whoa! Oh, oh man! Glass! My. God, ladies and gentlemen, if you are just here live, if you are just here live to hear these chops. No, 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 I'm gonna stop you right there. Those aren't chops. Those are slashes. Whoa, 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 okay, never mind. They're chops now. Wait a second. Oh! oh! Dragon oh! Sleeper! Oh! What, Nani? I, I, I don't. You, you saw that, right? I, yeah. Did he just? Yeah. Um. It, it, all it, right. It. As as Kenshin continues, I I don't know what's inside of Tyrain's mind doing that, but I mean, if it works, go with it, I guess. As Kenshin's going for something new with the body splash. I got a huge splash in the corner now. Kenshin. It's almost like he frustrated Kenshin after kicking out at one. Ooh. He missed. He tried it on the road. Wait a second. Oh, wait a minute. Explosion? Spiked him on his head with the airborne explosion. Where is this coming from? Oh, almost had it. 2.9 after that legendary Emerald Flosion. Emerald Flosion homage to the legendary great Mitsuharu Masawa. And oh, Jesus Christ almighty. I don't know if you see it, but it looks like Tyrain now, that attitude is starting to come out to where he wants to win this contest and he wants to get it over with, but Kenshin is not giving up. There's a thing that Tyrain always tell me, you gotta do what you gotta do, and if he dies, he dies. I, 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 I certainly believe that coming from your mouth and seeing Tyrain do what he's doing now. And oh, Nani? No, 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 no. We were talking a legend. He's gonna do a burning hammer. Wait, Kenshin is not letting that happen. That move has injured more people than you have thought. And oh, wait. Right hands from Kenshin here. I thought here. that. And if he would have hit that burning hammer, that would have that that would have been it. It would have been game over for Kenshin. No. Oh, wait a minute, Kenshin now has him on the shoulders. What is he thinking here? Got him on the shoulders, as you said. Oh! Snake Eyes in the corner. Tyrene catches the boot. No! Kenshin, oh! Zetsuke! Tanemai 
kill kick. That's it. We have a new T1 GP champion. Oh, what? no. <laughs> Only a two with Kenshin. The ring general that Kenshin is knew where he was at the ring placement. Putting his foot on the rope. And my God, what a T2K from Tyrain. But it was only a two, and, and, and Tyrain, look at the eyes. Look at his eyes. Oh, chapter black. Wait, 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 wait. Who's back? Well, no, small back. One. Oh, oh, no. Wait a minute. Kitchen, oh, you're a peanut butter cut vicious. And now Kitchen here. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's him with the Shibuya stutter. Is that gonna do it now? What does it have to take to get the three count, Jacob? I'm losing my mind as well uh, as I, everyone I else is. Both of, both of these men are, 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 are just battling here in this ring. This is this is not a match. This, this is far from a match. This is a fight, a war for the T1 GP Heavyweight Championship. I mean, were we really expecting anything else here? I don't think we. I don't think so. But man, these two men are just battling it all. Look at these Kawada kids. Days up to Shiaka Kawada himself. Dangerous K. Do we start calling Kenshin Dangerous K now? I guess so. Oh man, that last one had some, had some mustard on it and all. Tyrain coming back here, knocking Kenshin for a loop. Wait a second. Oh. Oh man. More Kawada kicks rattling the brain. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Oh. Go for another Shibuya stunner. Almost had it right there. Wait, Nani? Oh, wait a minute. What is this? What's happening? Wait. Oh, my lord. What it, is oh! That? I, don't, I don't know what to call that. That was Whatever beautiful. It is, it's effective. No, but not enough to get the three. Not enough at all. Tyrain and Kenshin, oh my god, what a battle. Both of these men trying to pull out all the stops to get this matchup over to win the T1 GP Heavyweight Championship. He wants to give Kenshin a run for his money, and good god, he's giving it to him. As man. right now, he's in the corner. Do you think he's setting up for that Tai Chi's hit? He could be setting up for the Tai Chi's hit here. No, wait a minute, no! Look at this! Over Tyrain! That's TF! That's TF like that, but, but look at the ring placement. Look how far Kitchen is away from the ropes here. Kitchen he has can to literally crawl. All he has to do is crawl and he will be safe for now. This T1 DP Championship is 100% in jeopardy right now. It's, it, it, it definitely is. Look at him trying to pull his weight and Tyrain's weight over to the... Oh no, wait a minute, look at this. Devil's Gate! Devil's Gate! And that's locked in deep here. Tyrain getting in front of the ropes. So Kitchen can't get to the ropes. The title is on the line. Kitchen got two things. It's either tap or snap. Because right now, that neck has been worked on for the majority of the match. But oh Kitchen is not going to let that swaddle. Jesus. Those knees to the back of the head of Kenshin, of, of, excuse me, Tyrain from Kenshin. Oh, man. I'm talking about hard That's strength. Cool. Kenshin is a little bit of a huge floor to the face. My God. And now. Oh, oh man. My God. Oh, Jesus. It is getting it's getting dangerous right now, as you can see right here. Ow! Oh! Hard hitting strikes, hard hitting maneuvers. Very dangerous. Ah! But Kenshin not gonna give up at all. And oh man! I mean, we come to know and love Kenshin for his fighting spirit, and he's not letting that sweat 
anything one bit. It's oh, but Ty Rain seems like oh. having more fighting spirit than Genshin does. Yeah, he, he is in the mean man. Tyree, big forearm shot. And oh god, another knife edge. And he hits him with another there. It's between two sharp objects right now. Forearm and a slash. Oh, wait a second. Wait a minute. Whoa! Oh! Wait. Oh! oh! DDT! Plants him! Hang his hook! It's so in close. The world. What is it gonna so take, close. man? So, so close. Oh man. These Jesus. These knee strikes to the side of the head of Tyrene here. And now, oh, wait a minute. The referee almost was pushing Kitchen back here. I think was checking on Tyrene a little bit there from those knee strikes. Oh man! What a shot! Wait a second! Oh, Wait a second! Oh! Here. He was going for that full moon bomb. Oh! Spikes him with the pile driver! Oh my God! Did you see the way Kinchin had to roll to the outside? Oh, oh man, that was. Nasty! Stuffed him with that short stuffed pile driver. Man almighty! Tyrone calling for Kenshin to get up onto his feet. I don't think a Tyrone can win this contest by count out. Win the title by count out, actually. There is championship advantage. If Tyrone were to lose by count out, Kenshin still keeps his crown. I mean, that, 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 that Tyrene could be thinking about that right now, but he also could be giving Kenshin time enough to get back in the ring to come back to fight. And he was able to get in the oh. ring just in time. I, I don't think Kenshin has enough on it, on it, it left in him. After that pile driver, that pile driver may have just took it all. Wait, wait, wait! Ah! I, 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 I have never seen... That reversal before in my life. Kenshin coming back here. Wow. Uh, oh my god. And Tyrain is not stopping. Oh no. Tombstone. Pile driver in the center of the ring. Jumping tombstone pile driver spikes him on his hand once again. And I think this only sets up for one headbutt in particular. Shades of the dynamite kid himself. As Tyreen trying his best with the amount of energy that he has left. Here we go! Hell! Oh! My God! <laughs> I think that was a Tai Chi's hit! From... From Kenshin! Kenshin Tyreen with the huge! I... Uh, I am... I am speechless. I... I... am shocked. What incarnation and now... You think... He's going for it? Full moon bomb! Folds him up! And Kenshin retains the gold in one great fight! Dear Lord! You you said it Woo. best, man. That was a fight if I ever seen one. My god almighty. What a, 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 a fight, a match between these two men. Kenshin! With his record, fifth defense of the T1 GP Heavyweight Championship of the World. My God.
Uh, I, I, I just, it's just speechless at this moment. Yeah. Of, of, of the war that these two men have played each other. Jesus Christ, we didn't think that both these men can go at the level that they did, and it's amazing for Kenshin to come out of here still reigning as T1 GP champion, but it also sucks to see my, my team Chitar Rain not come out here with the gold, but hey, he has nothing to be ashamed of. He won in a fight, and he got it. Nothing to be ashamed of at all. He won at this fight, he got the fight. He came Kenshin a pure run for his money for that T1 GP Heavyweight Championship. There's no bad blood between these two. It's all about respect here. Thanking him for the fight. Mm. Ooh, wow, that 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 was a that was a little bit of a welcome right there from from Kenshin to come to Japan to two one. You know what? You got it. I'll see your ass down the road. But remember this, Kenshin. Lightning don't strike twice. Good luck. The amount of respect that these two men have for each other right now, especially after this contest, my God, what a ride these two men has had. Oh, boy. Uh oh. Oh, 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 wait a minute. What? You he wants a Kuma? Uh, I a Kuma? Why is him out of all people? Akuma is one of the most dangerous fighters over in this whole entire land. And Kenshin didn't. He called Akuma out. I wonder what's going to happen next time Kenshin fights.